Welcome back to the Lemure National Dressage Championships Fan Zone. And I am very excited to have two absolute legends on the sofa with me for the final interview of the day here at the Fan Zone, the wonderful Charlotte Dujardin and the fantastic Annabella Pidgeley. Oh my goodness, what a sofa. Thank you so much. How's it going, girls? Yeah, really good. Having a really good uh, championship. So I'm really happy. And I think, Annabella, you're having a good one? Yeah. Having a really good time here. Me and Pumpkin won the Inter two on Thursday, and that was amazing. Nice. So that partnership starting to develop nicely. That's so exciting. Yeah, it's really exciting. I feel like everything really came together in our test, and I think that also showed in the scores. And I was really pleased with him. Um, so Charlotte, you obviously train Annabella, and she's on the wonderful Pumpkin. And for those of you at home who don't know, his, uh, that's Geo, your uh, Tokyo horse. Um, how? First of all nerve-wracking watching your tutor going down on your on your old horse not anymore um <laughs> the first few were quite nerve-wracking um just because annabelle is only 17 yeah. and uh, she's done i mean i've been training her for probably just under oh two years yeah. yeah about two years so she started at advanced medium when yeah. i started with annabella and a year later she's doing Grand Prix so I mean there's a huge leap yeah. um, in where she's come and you know the first few she's like yeah yeah, yeah I'm just I'm gonna I'm gonna go out and do an inter two and I'm like really and she's like yeah 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 I'm gonna go do inter two and I'm like okay okay, okay. and I'm like maybe we should just have a little practice at home and <laughs> then you know like obviously riding through a test and riding movements is very very different I think riding the movements is quite easy and then when you actually have to put it all together it becomes actually quite difficult and then I said then you've got to do the Grand Prix. I said, so, you know, there is a big jump again. And, uh, yeah, the first two, she had to kind of get her head around everything. And Pumpkin's such a legend. I mean, he just helps her out, you know, like there is, he kind of like, you know, she's like, do a pirouette. He's like, oh, okay, I'll keep doing it. Even though if it's like super, super small, he just keeps cantering around the pirouette. And, you know, there's not many horses that are so forgiving. He's just, been brilliant for her to be able to learn and get that experience and then you know coming here the end of the year you can really see how that partnership has now grown and developed and through training it's been incredible just to watch it like get better and better and um, it really showed here on Thursday when she did her test because it was absolutely amazing I mean I the warm-up I said to her that's the best warm-up you've definitely had and then she went down that center line and pumpkin's ears literally were like pricked and he was like ready for it he just loves going to a show and he did the perfect hole and the test was just brilliant it was just you know for me i felt so proud to be able to stand and watch it and you know it was a very hard decision to actually sell him uh because he's like another blueberry like he's a horse of a lifetime and um you know the home was very very important for me and you know the fact i get to see him every week with annabella and now achieving so many great things and um the future looks extremely bright and that that's got to have come with a lot of pressure annabella taking on a horse with such um a public kind of view on it um did you feel a bit protective over annabella as well a little bit knowing that people were going to be watching you and eyes were going to be on you yeah i mean it, she's become like a little sister to me so like yeah absolutely i think it's hard isn't it because there's a lot of people out there that are, you know, hoping she does well. There's a lot of people out there, obviously, get a little bit jealous and then don't want that. Um, luckily, Annabella's got a mindset a bit like me. She doesn't really I was really going to say, does she remind you of anyone? Okay? Yeah, she does. She's very, you know, she can block out a lot of things and just go down that centre line and ride for herself, which is, you know, a huge strength to be able to have. And, um, you know, I think that's great for the future to be able to be put under so much pressure again she did have pressure she did have expectations to go out there but again she didn't really care she kind of just knew she had to go out there and the first few were going to be a bit hairy and just had to kind of get her way through it and she did that and now you can see within just that short period of time yeah. how quickly she's come on and you know she got an 80 percent from a five-star judge you know she's on 79 percent 
17 years old at her national championships. I mean, that's pretty impressive. It is incredibly impressive. Um, Annabella, so I've, I've known Charlotte for a long time. I know Charlotte, the, the rider, the, the, the media type, but also not as a trainer. What is she like? Come on, the truth. Is she nice? Is <laughs> no, she chilled? Is she I'm strict? not nice. <laughs> <laughs> that was your I moment. can answer that for you. <laughs> Charlotte's definitely strict to train with, but I think in the end, the results show and everything pays off in training. I've learned so much. I think it shows I started training with Charlotte under two years ago yeah. and I've come so far and a lot of my success is down to Charlotte's training. All the details that Charlotte makes me come again, come really, and do it she again. Shouts. I've seen her teach Carl. <laughs> yeah, and being on every detail, making sure I'm always riding accurately and it's definitely improved my riding and I feel really lucky to have her support and her training. Yeah, because we had um, uh, we had a, a judge on here earlier talking about, and I was asking what do they look for, and he said one of the things that makes Charlotte so great is how accurate she is, and is that something she hammers home in the training sessions with you? Definitely. Yeah. If I do an eight meter circle and it's a bit big, I get that's a nine meter circle. Do it again, <laughs> and but it's it's great to pay such attention to detail and to really make sure I am riding accurately, and I think it shines through in my tests. Yeah, and is she a bit shouty? Shouty? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> um, and so exciting. And also, you guys are up against, you're competing tomorrow, uh, and you guys are up against each other. So, how does that, like, are you, does the competitor come back out in you, Charlotte, or are you hoping she beats you? How are you? <laughs> it's always war. <laughs> it's always been war with Carl. It'll be the same with her. And uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, I'm going to jump off and then come and help her after. And, you know, I want her to do well. Of course, I do. And, um, yeah, I mean, I'm out there to do what I need to do. And, you know, I've got two, um, one's seven, one's a little bit older, but, you know, she's been off an injury. Uh, so she's not actually done. She's done one show this year, uh, oh, wow. in San Floriana. Yeah, so she did heart pre to qualify. So she's come here. She did the pre St. George, but she's as hot as I was going to say. Florrie's quite hot anyway, isn't she? So she like yeah. Oh, so she's on me fire. To an international. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I mean, I yeah. I mean, I'll be out there to to definitely get the best results I can, and then. Um, if Annabella has to follow, then that's her place. <laughs> <laughs> and um, Annabella, you've had so much success. U Europeans, juniors, first team medal since 1998. Um, you are just flying. I mean, this just bodes so well for British dressage, doesn't it? To see riders like Annabella coming up through the ranks. Absolutely. I mean, it's what British, British dressage needs, you know, these younger generations coming through. And, you know, when you go to the Europeans, the championships when I was there at Harper, you know, to see combinations coming through, it's it's so exciting. And um, yeah, it's definitely keeping us on our toes. I mean, Annabella definitely is um, going to be, I think, a really top senior rider. And um, she's already trying to push her way out. <laughs> and I'm like, hang on, hang on. You just, you know, she's still got young riders and U25s to go. And she's already wanting to do seniors. So, um, you know that's incredible i think she's got such a strong mindset to to come out and keep delivering and pushing and yeah i think it's so so exciting for the future and was charlotte someone you before you um knew her as a trainer and, and, and a friend um was she someone that you looked up to and aspired to be like have you watched her when you were a little girl god making you sound old charlotte sorry oh, yeah. <laughs> we're getting on a bit now aren't we and <laughs> um, but was she the person that kind of got you and to be who you are today yeah, definitely. I definitely always looked up to Charlotte and I always thought that's what I want to be doing one day. Yeah. And I remember my first training session with Charlotte, we were actually talking about this the other day. I was so shy. I was really nervous to be training with Charlotte because I didn't know her then. And now we've obviously developed a really good relationship, but I definitely still aspire to be where she is. Yeah, amazing. I actually think it took Annabella nearly six <laughs> months to talk to me. Really? At first I was like, <laughs> it is, is there, I mean, I'm quite a funny person, you know, like I'll crack a joke at her and she, there's just nothing. And I'm like, oh, she didn't find me funny. You know, like you'd be like, oh, right, okay, well, I'll try another one. It no. was just a terrible <laughs> joke, it was, it was At first, no, they were pretty good. And at, at first I thought, 
I felt quite offended, you know, that she's not like with me, you know, and just like having this like banter and a bit of fun. And she was so serious. And then I realized she was just so shy and just, just so terrified of the terrified situation. of the <laughs> fact it was me. And now she's kind of got to know me. We do. We have we do have a bit of banter. And I you can... should call her grandma as she's called Carl <laughs> Grandad for so long. I think hey, there's not that much age gap. <laughs> right. Hang on. <laughs> Um, and while I've got you here, we have to talk about the World Championships and the wonderful Pete. Um, again, you guys went out there with a couple of younger horses, you and, and Lottie. Um, but did Pete exceed your expectations? I mean, were you so pleased with him from what it looked like at home? We just were wowed and amazed by him and what a job you've done, knowing how little he's done, like three Grand Prix, never done a freestyle. I mean, I know you and I... I know that it's not about those medals. It is about how that horse performs for you on that day. And you must have been so thrilled with him. Yeah, I mean, he's literally done. I mean, he hadn't, he'd done Compiègne, yeah. which was quite a small show uh, in France. It wasn't, you know, there wasn't big crowds or anything like that. And then he did Wellington, um, CDI. So again, no big crowds. And then all of a sudden, there he was. Um, at the World Games, going down the centre line <laughs> with 12,000 people. Um, yeah, and then, you know, Pete's nine years old during yeah. his first, you know, proper big championships. And I was so proud of him. I mean, I really, really, I mean, I had one small blip uh, in the canter transition. Yeah. You know, it was just an unfortunate thing that happened. And otherwise, I was incredibly proud. I mean, he's such an... In super horse to ride i don't think i've ever ridden anything with so much power and spring you know like he's there's so much i mean you just certainly don't ever eat before you ride him that's for <laughs> sure because he's so bouncy um but next year it's really gonna be exciting i mean i feel like having done the world games you know having done the grand prix the grand prix special on the cur mm. again three tests in a row not done that yeah so he learned so much it was a great experience for him and there's no um, bigger stage if he can handle that absolutely and that and that was the really really big highlight i think for us is to really realize that actually he can handle it all because he's been a very hot horse through yeah, his yeah. life uh he was um you know coming just to the national championships so i remember him here last year i was like oh he looks yeah. a bit sweaty charlotte he's yeah and he excited. got hotter and hotter every yeah. day i did hear he got hotter you know he did the pre st george pre st george music into one into one music he got hotter and hotter every day so i always knew when he got to grand prix i was never going to run out of energy by the third day you know yeah, because yeah. that's the thing when you have these horses you've got to think it's not just one day you've got to do three um so he definitely had plenty of energy still to go even at the end of um his music so i was really really happy with him and now i can do my own floor plan for him next year and uh, have his <laughs> own music because he did bless him he had to do pumpkins music because yeah. we hadn't really even thought about getting him a music sorted because we didn't think he'd actually go you yeah. know because he was so young and inexperienced but Thinking yeah. big, powerful music, like Gladiatorium <laughs> or something. I don't know, something that's not going to make him go too fast. <laughs> it's like to slow him down. Yeah. And Annabella, when you when you see Charlotte, I mean, she must be so inspiring because you kind of Vallegro, but then you go to all the other horses that you've ridden coming through, all the way to Geo and now, now Pete. They are such different types of horses. A lot of riders seem to suit one type of horse and, and that's the kind of type they, they can train. But... Do you watch her and just think, my goodness, she can train anything? Definitely. Yeah. Pumpkin and Pete, I, I mean, I don't know Pete that well, but they seem incredibly different. <laughs> yeah. And Charlotte rides both of them so, so well. So it is incredible to see how she just adapts to every horse that she rides. Yeah, it is incredible. Right. And before you go, i got to say congratulations. Am I allowed? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. You're having a baby. I'm so excited. I do, I'm so excited. Can I have baby cuddles when sure, she arrives? Of can, yeah. And Annabella's, I'm lining her up for babysitting. So. Yeah. Are you trustworthy with children? Are you good with them? I'll be learning. Yeah. I'm excited. I've got to practice on. It's fine. Um, so, little girl, um, not only is it such exciting news, but I think the whole team uh, behind you, um, I've never seen Alan so excited. He's, like, shopping for like ponies already i mean what is going on i know i'm i i don't i was really scared to tell alan and i was really scared to tell carl you know when you just think all my pretty much my whole career carl's been like come on it's time to have a baby you need to have a baby you need to have a baby and like everyone's like you know the time is never right and then eventually the time it did feel right it felt like this was the time that i 
felt like I was ready with everything, my career, my personal life, everything it felt ready to be able to do. And then obviously I found out when I was two weeks pregnant. So I knew for quite a while I was I was pregnant and I had to keep that from Carl and Alan. And that was one <laughs> of the hardest things I've had to do is not tell them because I tell them everything. And then I got home from the World Games and then I I told Carl I went to his house and I was like, you're actually going to be a proper granddad now. <laughs> a great granddad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and he was like so, so happy. And um, it was really lovely, you know. Yeah. He raised a glass and yeah, it was, it was so nice to actually be able to share that news with him. And then Alan, I was again not sure how he was gonna be you know was he gonna be happy like like just because obviously with me not being back in the sport all the time you know i just was like oh i don't know if it, I, I try and hang on to alan as long as i can so he doesn't retire and i was thinking god if i have a baby you might think he's gonna retire and i'm like no you're not retiring but he didn't he, he's like right i've gone a horse pony shopping i've got i've got it all lined up i've got all the show ponies she's got a mount of the mall and show pony a hunter pony she's got it all so it's like you're never going to see your child i'm going to take her off i was like that's absolutely fine no, ian's <laughs> even told me he's investing in a baby carrier yeah I, I tell you i've got like the best crew i've got the best team ready lined up that must be just so lovely though like because it is a family you spend so yeah. much time with everyone yeah so this little one is just gonna have like this extended family and so much love yeah and it's brilliant because dean obviously you know for him with what i do it's really tough it's mm. like a tough um you know support like to be behind because with this sport because obviously i'm always traveling around you know coming and going always weekends gone. yeah always yeah. weekends but he's really wants to be hands-on which i feel very grateful and lucky for and you know he comes and he'll we'll, he'll be supporting both of us now yeah it's amazing and yeah. i remember when i was pregnant with delilah and he was kind of like jenny have a word with charlotte <laughs> yeah. so I, there is nothing i can say that will ever persuade charlotte to do anything well that's it you saw the sign in i think i had one in in after london and one after rio i mean i've had all the signs in all the newspapers and everything and now i've actually he's tied me down and he's he's made it happen it's so exciting for you. Well, massive congratulations. Cannot wait to see you both riding tomorrow. You are an inspiration to these young riders coming through as well, Annabella. It's amazing seeing you with those medals around your neck. And you are going to be a mum. I'm so excited. <laughs> Thank you so much for talking to us. Um, it's just so lovely catching up with you guys. Um, good luck tomorrow. Can't wait to see you riding. And um, may the best trainer pupil <laughs> win i don't know like the gloves are gonna come off that's it yeah exactly but good luck um and thank you so much again thank and you. congratulations on the thank news thank you very it's much really exciting.